Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 17 here on Oregon Spring 17. Folks, how we doing today? Y'all doing all right? Oh, I'm just peaching myself. Let me get my hood back on. I said that every time. No. Look at the rain, folks. Look at the rain coming in there. Your sheep need grass. Yeah, I know they need grass. Okay, okay. Uh, this is what our uh, file looks like. We're uh, ready to cut soybeans and corn, but we already cut up corn, so we just have we got three six days to cut our soybeans, and uh, then we got to do some harvesting. Well, we got six days to do our our grass, so uh, we gotta get a move on it. We should have planted some poplars too. But anyway, wait, what, 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 how? We gotta check the price of soybeans. Looked like we missed our high price part. So, uh, we're gonna store them back. But anyway, anyway, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, 6 after 8. So, uh, let's, let's get some people working here. Um, actually, I'm taking the wrong one out. Let's start that up and let it warm up. Let's go over here. Roll gator started. Already got it filled up, ten thousand. Um, gotta go with spray a field. Um, let's get the tractor to follow us. Ah, there we go. Uh, who's gonna be following us today? I wonder. Look like it's Jennifer. All right, Jennifer. Um, it's going out here to our field 13. We got to get sprayed. And um, we got to start plowing that because it needs plowed. The rest of them, we can probably just uh, scratch them up a little bit. We do have some ruts on some of them we got to get out. Alrighty, this looks like about a good area right here. My Jennifer, I want you to stay right there for a little bit. Alright, let's adjust our wings here. Should be about right. Alright, let's spray. Get our GPS set up here. Oh, uh, overlap just a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Boy, did I just mess that up! All right, let's get back on the path here, real quick. I was going to hit new and I ended up hitting the uh, line there. Okay, whoa, whoa. Smack the tree. I'm going to get a hired worker to go in here. That's the reason why I set the GPS. But uh, I got to make one more round here. Well, not one more round, but uh, through. I should have skipped over a little bit, but it'd be alright. Let's get some of that, that, that box off there, shall we? But yeah, we got rain tomorrow. So we're going to have to try to get all our soybeans harvested today. Oh man, it would do that. But um, yeah, try to get all of our soybeans harvested today. Then after that, we're going to try to get the ground worked up and ready for uh, fall and then spring. So I'm going to go over here and do this real quick like this. Then we're going to go over and make another one. I ain't going to worry about that little strip there. 
No, I probably should, but. Okay, here we go. And then hire a worker. Well, what are you doing? Um. There we go. There we go. All right, now time for this guy. Oh, College Union's doing the spraying now. All right. I guess I better get off the main road. But it ain't very much traffic. Right, I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. On a GPS here. We're going to get it set up before we even go. Nah, nah. Let's go to something about like that. Maybe. No, it still crosses. I wish it was a little bit slower. Then we'll push it on over here. Nah. Okay. As far as we can go that way. Couple of clicks. Right there. Bail on. Lower down. There we go. Huh. That looks weird. But okay. And yeah, we'll be skipping a the spot there. But yeah, that's what uh, cotton rolls kind of looks like. They're just taller. Maybe a little wider. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, raise that up. I want to do something here. Wasn't thinking. All right, I'm going to let down. We're going to create field. And we got the GPS still on. And we're going to let this field kind of run down a little bit more now we're not going to plow the road up but we're going to get mighty close uh, breaking a GPS signal now this way we're getting just a little bit more of the field and GPS back on thing looking good we're just going to let this run straight on out, folks. I'm going to speed up time. I know I'm crazy, but I'm going to speed time up to about uh, 10 o'clock, maybe. Yeah, our guy over is still going. That's good. All right, breaking GPS. It's kind of giving this a round curve here. Um, we're going to come back maybe next year and widen this just a little bit more. Uh, I'm taking some of these trees out here. But uh, let's see, I was on this one here. So W there. We're going to go on down here where we was. Ah, I figures I start recording the train comes. Not in game, but real life, folks. All right, we're going to hire a worker, and he should take care of the rest of it. Um, everything's been greased and ready to go. Let's go ahead and double check here. Hundred percent. So they are ready to go. Um, what else was there? I was gonna jump the fence. Um, yeah, we'll probably get the big board. Oh no, it's in the floor. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Um, trying to think all the tractors we got. 
chicken has been born. Let's go check our chickens and stuff while we're waiting on time. Oh, okay. He would. Well, he needs to spray that field anyway. But. Okay. Let's see what he's missed real quick in the new field. But we're going to uh, combine that together right there, so. Alright, all good there. Let's go on down to this end real quick. I'll we'll make sure we get this spill sprayed all the way. And uh, start on the other spill. Oh yeah, you missed a good one right here. The folks look at all the blue and yellow dots around our farm shopper. Yeah, this right here, we're going to extend it out quite a bit over. Uh, I will save, folks, as far as pause so long right there but we got our semi trucks we got to get started and down and what I want to do is start the combines where they're at and go all the way down to the biogas and uh, start down there working back this way all right well, our, our GPS started right there uh, Max spraying, so we're gonna lock on. Yeah, we gotta uh, count and see how much seeds we got before we start planting. Right, I'm gonna let him hire again. We do. Well, here's our uh, chickens. See what they look like. All right, they're going to need to be fed, but they're, they'll be good this episode. 443. Uh-oh, it just went down on me. Oh, yeah, I'm fast forward in time. We'll have to come back and check in. Oh, we should come on out to the end, so. Be all right, though. Let that finish loading some. We'll get back to our trucks here in a minute. Oh. Uh, sheeps need grass. How much do they need? We'll probably let them go till next episode. Next episode will be a feeding episode. Um, and I'm going to fast forward probably another few minutes here. Oop, wrong but Go one more scale. Did we get everything on this side? Looks like we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and spray around here. Or not around, but the ends. So maybe this guy will turn better. Or you, whoever we hire. Colin was doing it. Folks, all the people's names that's on here are down below in the description, pretty much. Uh, if they're not, that just means they're not a YouTuber, but they do watch YouTube, so. Um, yeah. And they put everybody links down below in the description. That would be helpful, huh? Alrighty. Look like we might be on a chicken has been born. Okay, we're about 10 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and slow time down because it wasn't a do last night. So, And do is kind of like a little small mist of rain that falls uh, on clear sky. If it's cloudy, you won't have a do. 
I don't know what makes that, but I guess it's kind of like condensation uh, from hot and cold and stuff. It's just like it's fine and mist that falls, makes the grass wet. But, uh, yeah, we're just about out of spray. I might get back around. We'll let them spray, and we'll get the combines going anyway, and we'll jump back over. I would miss a little bit there. Oh, excuse me, folks. I don't know why I'm yawning. Got plenty of sleep last night for a change. Our time has stopped, so let's get this bad boy started here. Um, I just want to do one thing real quick, though. Go in here, looks. Uh, that's the wrong one. I need the headers. The headers. I want to check out the head, head, headers. Uh, this is a 12.2, so that'd be a 6.1. Okay. Got this in the running. Let's go over here and this one. Control F. Uh, it's going to be the wrong way. So I'm going to put it at a 6. Ah, it's hitting the wrong button. Alright, uh, that should work. He should follow me and be about right on the, or should I say Donna, should follow me. Come on, I want you a little bit closer. I started to say, she ain't going to scoot over. Maybe it needs to be a 12. It'll be a 12, that's right. That'll work. Except for doing that. <laughs> okay. Should adjust it on the go. Oh yeah, we got Donna behind me, uh, and uh, I'm doing this, and we got uh, Colin spraying. I hope he don't quit on us. Don't look like he's going to quit. Alright, I'll either head her up here. Drop down here. I wish, uh, like I said, follow me would do the same controls you do. Like if you picked up right now, it would wait till you got right there and then picked up. Or you could tell it to. Uh oh, Colin's done stop. Alright, now I'm going to hire a worker, but first, uh, oh, I don't want to move that, I want to move this, turn that on, and then uh, wait during unload, be all, hit OK, do that again, hire a worker, and we want to go in a circle pattern, so that's good. 
What are we doing here? I'm gonna stop this a little bit. Whoa! Control F. Oh, we destroyed some beans. Shame, shame, know your name. All right. I want to straighten this up a little bit here. All right, that should work. And same thing here. I'm going to turn that on and turn that off. Yeah, okay. I'll go in here and do that again. Yeah. Hit B uh, in a circle. Matt, and we are out of stuff. Okay, so not too bad. Gets a help if I turn my motor on. And since we're right here close to the farm, we'll just drive and fill up. Um. I guess I get my work truck, well, my personal truck to pull the trailer, but yeah, this will work. Now, oh, well, that's filling. We'll start these up and get them warmed up. Everybody should be on follow me. Follow me. But of course we shouldn't need all these trucks really. We probably just need one. but We're just going to set them right here for right now. All right, he is empty. All right, we'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, Donna, Max, and Jason. Oh, this is the one we need. We got to go down here and catch him. Let's turn our inspector back on here and... Uh, not inspector, but uh, yeah, this be an inspector. I don't see a glance mod up there. I don't know what happened to it. There are two combines, they're 58 and 47, and where are they at on the map? Let's so, I'll just go on down this way and catch them. Probably just be better. But, uh, I don't have very much news, folks, except for, um, I may or may not be having to take a small vacation. Um, it's not vacation, and I should say workcation. Uh, I got a lot of stuff outside I gotta do, and it's been raining and stuff, so all that stuff's piled up. I got a, a meter box I gotta put up. And um, just when I got to old, go ahead and empty him out real quick. Oh no. Okay, so I can't do that. That's why I took. I need to take the combine to move them to a different one. If I hit SL, it's going to swap me to whatever it's in, in uh, the group searcher spot SL. So, but I am glad I was caught 
or not caught up, but that I had a week's worth of videos recorded and edited and uploaded. Um, I probably had about 12 videos all together that I've been putting out uh, Monday through Friday, two a week. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I had a fire, not at my house, but you know, the fire station that I went to. Uh, it lasted about three and a half hours one night. And then the uh, next day, I slept. I slept like from 2.30 a.m. to about almost 2.30 p.m. Yeah, I slept almost a full 12 hours there. And uh, all day long, which everybody was out of town except for me, so all day long, Sheriff's Hall has been paging out, you know, house back on fire for hot spots. Uh, but it wasn't nothing left of the house anyway when we did do it. And, uh, but anyway, about 3.30, you know, I woke up at 2.30, check my phone and stuff I'm like oh man missed all them so I figured somebody done went put it out um <laughs> didn't nobody put it out yet so we ended up me and two other guys put two yeah two full loads from the fire truck on it and um When we got done, we we had it completely out then. We raked the hot spots and put them out and stuff real good. And all that good stuff. And yeah. So that fire was done. Uh, I was tired that evening after we done went back out there. So I ended up taking another nap. And uh, watching some of y'all's videos and stuff, and I finally got caught up. Um, <laughs> I think it was the following day, we had another, another fire on a different house. The back bedroom caught on fire on it, but everything was... Uh, Earth's house is smoke damaged a little bit, but everything else was good, salvageable. But, uh, yeah, that nice is for about an hour, and, uh, so then it was time, uh, the next day after that, my mom had a doctor's appointment. So we went and took care of it. At last, it pretty much all day, you know, it was 9 a.m. in Jonesboro, so we left here about 7, 7.30, and uh, then get back to almost 3 o'clock that evening, so uh, we kept the kids out, because we knew it was going to be late getting back, and then after that, we, uh, that was on a Monday, and Tuesday, uh-oh, Gotta scoot over just a little. There we go. And Tuesday we had to go get my mom's car. And we got over about 10 minutes before they opened. It was like 9 o'clock. And uh, the car wasn't ready. He's like, well, you should have called. I said, you had it Thursday, even Friday, and all day Saturday. Well, things take time. All right, well, for, first of all, it was overheat. They changed the oil, put a new radiator cap on, and put a heat uh, sensor on it. So the uh, therm or uh, not thermostat, but oh, it's a little small brass deal that tell sends a signal to the temp gauge so I guess a temp sensor they put on it uh, so did y'all change the thermostat no I didn't think it needed it I said it was running hot you know it wasn't the water wasn't circulating 
Oh, uh, well, we filled it up and let it set and everything. And I'm like, okay. But uh, they even put Freon in the car, so my mom's air conditioner is working now. But anyway, it was about 1 o'clock when we finally left. And uh, we was heading back home. Hey, Sprayer is caught up. But anyway, we was heading back home, and uh, we got to uh, maybe 15 miles from the house. My mom went ahead and went to Global, and I went home. Um, came back to the Luxor, and I had to do a few things at the fire station about that last call. Do some paperwork for the chief. And, uh, ended up getting paged out for a medical and then my mom called at the same time said the car is overheating again so we we're like what the heck did I not set this in I don't guess I didn't set this oh well I don't know how good they're going to do the combine is 48 and 18 so I think we're going to park them right here Park this one right here. And I guess it was just these two right here. I guess you're on the fence. That's why you wouldn't look. Come on, buddy, backer. Uh, shift. Yep. Oh, he's on 30. We'll put him on 20. Let's see if he comes down. He's trying to move. He's slow. There no. There he comes. There he comes. Okay. About to slow down in. Then we'll get too far in the uh, same day. He can't reach me. No, no, the combines are still 48 and 18. What do they do? Quit? They probably would say that. They're not filling up. Uh, holy cow. Who's driving that truck? Who was driving that truck? I dehired them too fast. Oh my God. Oh my God, who was in this truck? Nobody? Wow. That's one of the reason why I'm glad we got this right here. So I got to turn that off first. So That's a transporter mod. Try to get the same location. Oh, get out of the beans. Oh, my God. Look at our beans. I guess that's what I got for doing too fast. He just couldn't keep up and started going in circles. Oh, my. Let's back out of here without making too much of a mess. Oh, my beans. Why beans? Why couldn't it do it to the wheat crop or something? Beans are most the highest price crop paying there is. They want to destroy it. Well, 
There, sure, I'll loom all. <laughs> oh, that is why. Oh, it's... They can't back up. Ah, uh, man, the hill's too steep for them. They won't back up. All right. Ah, I get on that side of the fence. Uh, I guess I'll go this way and make a U turn. Uh, excuse me. Which one are you following? Me? Look at me trying to hit the wagon and get them to move out of the way. I'll yeah, just do this. Wow. Well, folks, I hate to go, but I just got paid out for a fire, so y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Bye.